everyone is well aware, the Walt Disney Company has lost the copyright to the movie Steamboat Willie, which is the film that built the Walt Disney Corporation. After 100 years, they no longer have the rights to that film or the character of Mickey Mouse as designed from Steamboat Willie. And there are a bunch of upcoming movies and video games based on Mickey Mouse as he looked in Steamboat Willie. And the very first, the trailer dropped, and you can see it on the Film Threat YouTube channel. Gentlemen, uh, Jamie and, and Simon, we, we stole it and we put it on our YouTube channel, closing in on a thousand views. Uh, the trailer dropped on New Year's Day. They were smart enough to foresee this. This is this is also, uh, you know, last year we reviewed Pooh, Blood and Honey based on Winnie the Pooh, also in the public domain. And joining us today are director Jamie Bailey and actor Simon Phillips. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the Film Threat livecast today. Uh, we've got over 600 people watching. Uh, good to meet you both. Thanks for having us. Yeah, hello. Thank you. Cool. All right. And just a thing that like all, all like, like a quick friend of mine, when I first came to Hollywood, I asked advice. The first piece of advice a friend of mine gave me was whatever you do, just show up on time. Just show up on time. That's all you, I'm busted. Oh my God. What? I'm just saying, Hey, Wait. you're on time hey, today. Hey, no, they haven't even said a word yet. Yeah, a very, good. very busy week. Okay. No, 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 no. I can imagine. I'm not very good with schedules I'm, either. Oh, that's all right. Sure. I'm busting your balls. I'm busting your, but we're really happy to have you here. We have questions for you. Our audience is jazzed to talk to you. We're, right, we're, right. we're, we're sorry we're late. We're oh, late. don't we're worry about it. No, no, you're sorry. perfectly uh, fine. I just got to bust yeah. your balls. All right. Uh, first of all, kudos to you for being very forward thinking with making this movie. It's a straight up, from, from all appearances, correct me if I'm wrong, straight up slasher film with someone in a Steamboat Willie inspired Mickey Mouse mask. Yes. Now, that's what? That's actually the whole synopsis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all you need to know. That's I it. gave away the whole movie. So but what interview over? Well done. <laughs> all right. what take? Well, tell me what made you. And uh, first of all, have you seen Pooh, Blood, and Honey? And did that inspire you to do this? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We love that movie. And those guys are those guys are busy making a sequel. We can't wait to see what they do next. Um, yeah, we. I mean, um, they're not the first ones to reinvent a, a story or turn it on its head. Uh, ever since Shrek has been turning fairy tales on their head, people have been doing it all over the world. But uh, yeah, well, we, we love love Wind of And this is, we're not reinventing the wheel. I mean, Disney itself uh, is using free o open domain characters for a long time. They've had a couple of successes over the years. I think we've just now come full circle. No, <laughs> it's interesting that you put it that way because when you look at the Disney films that are very popular from the early Disney, they were all characters that were fairy tales. You can't, I mean, those aren't copyrightable, right? No, so they're, all, what? they're all, well, they are. They're, they're all, Grimm's fairy tales. They were, right, they were, right. Yeah, they were they were all they just took them and made them uh well they made animated movies out of them. They right, just, but they, they were turned them on their head, a bit like we're doing. Right, right. They're they're basically public domain uh properties that you can make. Anyone can make a Cinderella movie or a Snow White film. Wizard of know? Oz. Yeah. There's a whole Wizard, of yes, Wizard of Great Oz. You can, yeah, great. All of those are now public domain. But did you? What was the legal process behind? You needed to vet this and make sure that you were in the clear. Because look. I don't know what you spent on the movie, but I'm $12. sure it was. Huh? And a, a twelve dollars and a case of beer for that guy. Remember that guy? Oh yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's like, look, it, it's I. I think horror horror is a very smart genre, right? To to place the story in. But what was the legal process that you went through of like, okay, we can do this because it is based on Steamboat Willie, and you actually in the movie show footage from Steamboat Willie is actually in the film. Well, we we wanted to make sure that we were using the right version of Mickey. Mickey Mouse is still, by the way, under copyright, but the uh, it's only the version, of, as you say, of Steamboat Willie. So it's things like we had to make sure he looked right. So even though it's a color movie, uh, our Mickey Mouse, you may notice, is black and white. Uh, he doesn't have eyebrows. He has big black eyes, not uh, the, the white eyes. He doesn't wear the white gloves. He doesn't have the red pants. But that's all because he's the original Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, you know, sort of. So we've, we've been very careful on... Uh, uh, how we sort of, uh, you know, sort of visualize that that bit of the character, sort of, uh, 
a bit like uh, you know Winnie the Pooh had to be careful and stuff like that. They weren't able, they didn't have carte blanche to do whatever they wanted. But as long as you do, you work within the confines given. Uh, yeah, it's creative free reign. So we used what we had to, and then we made the story around it. The other, the other question that uh, people have been uh, texting me to ask you is was the copy of Steamboat Willie that you used in the movie. You know, because um, I, I think there's there's been rumblings over what print you can use and what print you can't use. Uh, we're, it's you know, Steamboat I, Willie is in, uh, you're talking about there are more modern, they've reanimated. Uh, well, I think I think it was more uh, the scans of the Steamboat Willie you I use mean, that's, versus. That's not yeah. a thing, but uh, you know, it's like you could, there's a 4K version of Steamboat Willie, but it's, it's just up the original, uh, uh, Steamboat Willie. That's that's like saying that would be the equivalent of saying we couldn't apply a filter to this interview. Uh, it's it, it's something you're adding on okay. on top. As long as the base material, the source material, is the you know the Steamboat Willie, you're allowed to do whatever you want with it. Now that's what public domain is. Everybody's allowed to do those things. And I and I look forward to seeing somebody else actually challenge on one of these things. I'm looking forward to seeing what else people come up with with Mickey Mouse. We were the only ones that actually had a movie ready on January first. Yes. <laughs> so this was all planned out. When did you start shooting this film? And what was like the, when was the first discussion? Like, uh, Hey, Steamboat Willie going to be uh, public domain. Was this a couple of years ago? And then you, no, cause you no. Can't... no, this was kind of in the zeitgeist. We're actually really shocked that no one else picked up on it. But I think halfway through last year, we kind of said, okay, let's pull the trigger on it and do it. And we started filming the end of September. Uh, and uh, yeah, we had it all done, uh, uh, before the middle of October, there was uh, there were articles, uh, there were several articles which just sort of spawned our conversation as well, uh, uh, notifying that you know Disney was going to lose its copyright to Steamboat Willie in 2024. But this was like February last year, you know, sort of. So it was like it was, was just no surprise. So like, like everyone, everyone knew this was coming. Yeah, everyone knew it was coming. We we're like we we and we were severely doubted we'd be the only ones doing it. I've actually I've lost a bet because I told him there's absolutely no way yeah. we're going to be the only people that are going to have a movie ready to go January 1st. There's going to be an army of people that are going to do this. Absolutely. And I was completely wrong. I'm shocked. Yeah, you're the only ones as far as I can see. I mean, we did some, there are some like AI generated things that are not great. They, they don't count. They, 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 they don't, don't count. count. And then there's um, there's a video game that's upcoming called yeah. Infestation 88. But yours is the first movie. And now when is the, we have a lot of questions from our chat. Um, we've got like, 500 we got like 500 people watching on rumble 500 on youtube and they have a lot of questions for you i want to get to those but when is the movie being released and how can people see it and thank you again for allowing us to steal your trailer and put it on our youtube channel you can have, hey that, that, that trailer is pretty well circulated around the globe right now yeah, no, it's, a good, it's great you want that it's a we commercial do. like we, do, we believe the movie will be out the first week of march although we're not allowed to say exactly when as we're in tight-lipped discussions with the distributor, who uh, I'm also not allowed to say who is. About. Well, we can also say it might happen sooner too, because the yeah. movie is ready to go. Yeah. Wow. Done. Okay. Now, will you be doing a limited theatrical? I have been so uh, pleased. We, this they is can't what we me. can't tell oh. you because this is a. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to have uh, some a big premiere event, uh, but uh, that's what that's what all the behind-the-scene chat is about. So where where okay? Because look, I saw Pooh, Blood, and Honey in a theater. Every single seat was sold. It yeah. was a fathom event. It was huge. You could only see it on one day. Every single seat. The audience was howling. They loved it. They knew what they were getting into. <laughs> They're like, I know there's going to be death murder. I've seen the trailer. That's what I'm here for. And we're all going to goof on it. It, it. We will be following suit with a very special one-off event at a venue to be disclosed. Uh, <sighs> sim similar sort of thing for a bit. Uh, for diehard fans a little bit. Um, if, but if you, you can guess at what event I might be hinting around, it's around another venue. So Is it South uh, by Southwest? I am not. couldn't possibly tell you what it is. I, I'm not allowed to say. So. Oh, that would be so smart. But I'd love to see it open as a Fathom Events one day thing. They do that. I mean, look at the movie. Look at Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2 was a Kickstarter movie. It was made for $250,000. It made over $11 million at the box office. Most Fathom events kept it playing for a lot. Then it just got, it was originally a Fathom event, and then it's just started playing in theaters because people loved it. Now, I feel like this could be that type of thing. It, well, it, we, we hope so. Um, I mean, listen, there's, you know, we're not really in competition with our brothers and sisters that keep making these 
awesome movies, Terrifier, Winnie the Pooh. Right, like, right. Uh, as Jamie always says, there's like, uh, there's, it's, it's, like a, it's like a pie. Just because they have success doesn't mean that we can't. We can all have success. No, no. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I'm not saying in a competitive sense. I'm saying jump in the pool. I Get, hey, jump we, be a we, part we, of the party room, and we can't wait to be there. But we we our absolute awe of Winnie the Pooh, absolute awe of Terrifier. And the sort of massive accomplish, uh, accomplishments they get for indie budgets. I mean, we're in the same. But I think the announcement that you want to hear of the where it's going to play and all this stuff is is, is going to be coming out very soon, probably sooner than than uh, than Simon's letting go. Yes. Well, just just make sure to send us a press release about it, and we we'd, yes, we'd also we'll come back on. Yeah, we'll we'll, back we'd on. like to a review it. We live, we live here now. Okay, cool. Oh wait, you so where so where are you based? We're in Toronto. The CN Tower is like right there. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Well, we're at least we're on the same continent. So there you go. <laughs> well, they, they do premieres at Disneyland. I think this that would be a great yeah. place to. Uh, to you show know you. what? I think you know. I, I think that would be a great idea. And if you know, if everybody would just not take it as seriously as they're trying to, I was like, <laughs> we made a ridiculous movie. Uh, we had fun doing it, and I think ridiculousness, ridiculousness, and fun belong at Disney. Yeah. Well, well, let's. I have to believe it. It'll help them. Just That's as much. As I think only sailing. That's it. why we're doing this, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, we know they yeah. Disney had a hard, hard year last year, so we're we're here to pitch in. Yeah. Absolutely, well, they appreciate. Honestly, it. We're doing our bit for the team. There you go. Well, let's let's uh, take go to our chat comments and questions. We have a lot, so let's go here. Starting with Matthew Hammond. Could you ask the guests? Uh, uh, oh, what is that, Alan? Did you find it? Did Matthew Hammond send that? That might have been it. Uh, oh, no, that isn't it. That's not the question. Okay, Matthew. If you uh, could, Matthew, you could if you could post it. We're going to start from the bottom here. Yeah. One Punch Man Tolkien fan says, Hail Sir Jamie and Sir Simon. Do you worry at all that Disney will litigate you to death? No. No. <laughs> it's like, why? We're not breaking the law. We're not. We're doing everything above board. Uh, we're staying within our guardrails uh, that our legal team has advised us. And we know we don't. No, we're, we're, do we're, not, we're not doing anything we shouldn't be doing. And we're having, we're being creative and having fun. There's nothing, there's nothing but some innocent fun here. All right. And from... Is this a real pickle droner says in the trailer, there is clearly a copy of Mickey Mouse comic by the projector. Isn't the name Mickey Mouse still copyrighted? No, no, because no. It, it's Mickey Steve Mouse Willy. symbol. Willie. That's, that's the thing that yeah. uh, entered into public domain that. So it's a picture of, we literally took a picture of the, the movie that went into public domain. That's, I mean, that's, definitely not. Yeah. It, it, in the trailer, I think that they, they show that like, we, we project the actual movie, in the background. That's just the Steamboat Willie a movie. That's a public domain. Anyone can play with that right now. Another question here from Kara says, congratulations on the film. Do you plan on making another Disney characters movie? Oh, actually, <laughs> I, should, I should announce this now. I was, uh, we were listening to your podcast before we joined it. Yeah. I think the sequel is going to be Mickey Mouse fights, fighting a vending machine. And losing, because those things happen. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually a whole bad genre of horror films, is like horror films based on, like, you know, a stove or a killer oh, spa. Was it, a was killer... it an 80s movie that was about a tire or something? Or it was a, yeah, yeah, like a tire. Yes. Yeah, a tire. No, no, this this was out not that long ago. No, this that was wasn't an 80s. It just looked like an 80s movie, but it was actually a modern movie. It, what was it called? The, it was literally about a tire fighting people. Yes, that's, it was It was a possessed tire. Yes. Yeah. Alan, can you look that up? <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's ask the internet. Well, I mean, anyway, we go all the way back next, to Attack of the Killer uh, Tomatoes. Uh, I, I think our next project, by the way, should be Mickey Mouse versus Winnie the Pooh in some sort of like... Why don't you do that? That is that, That's the next evolution, obviously. Mickey the, next, the Party Pooh. Versus Jason. Yeah, Predator, you know, yeah. one of those. Party, yeah. Party versus yeah. Alien. I, yeah. I think that would be great. Like, like there you go. Um, oh, by the way, it's called Rubber. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Rubber is brilliant. It's existential. It's weird. And it, yeah, definitely go see the movie Rubber. Yes, love it. Um, from Rumble, A L is twenty four. Are Simon and Jamie brainstorming other film ideas for characters that will be entering the public domain in the coming years, such as Superman, Batman, and other Disney characters? Well, who's going to be Batman? And you want to be? I'm Superman? finally going to be Batman, and I'll I'm be definitely Batman. <laughs> I'll be Superman, and we'll 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 do that one next. That's, that's awesome. Right? Awesome. Yeah. Well, my understanding is uh, Donald Duck is coming up. Uh, yeah, I think it's five years for Donald Duck. Yeah. There and now, where's, where's Goofy in all this? And Pluto, where do they come into the mix? And you have to, like, answer, okay, maybe Alan knows this. Is Goofy a dog or a oh, cow? Yeah. No. <laughs> a, a dog or a cow? It's, it, it's, it's a cow, not a cow. because Pluto's the dog. Pluto's, Pluto's a dog, but why is Pluto a dog and then Goofy walks upright? 
Well, you know, it's because he never walks Pluto. It's weird. It's weird. Sorry, Eight hours, twenty four hours. Conversation. Stand, stand by me. <laughs> yeah. uh, Disney Pixar destroyed Toronto in turning red. So this is our city's revenge. Letting the killer moose loose. Mouse. Okay. Well, there you okay. go. Mouse. Mouse loose. Mouse loose. Yeah. There you go. Loose. Loose. That's your Canadian inflection coming out. The mouth. <laughs> the mouth is out. A boot. A boot. <laughs> uh, Mr. Baylor and Mr. Bailey and Mr. Phillips. How easy or hard was it? Uh, looking for actors oh that part is pretty easy actually uh, we make a lot of movies this isn't our, our first rodeo uh we made five movies last year uh, wow one of the many movies that we made and <laughs> we make lots of different things as well we yeah. do yeah <laughs> not just like we make a lot of slash movies we made a bank heist movie uh very right, right after we shot mickey mouse a movie uh, on a submarine and we shot a movie on a submarine with mermaids and stuff like that uh, well, we have like a, we're based in Ontario. We have like a local group that we work with over and over again, but we're always finding new talent too as well. Some of them, most of them from here, but we have people flown in from all over the place. Like we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, so we know so many people. So finding, honestly, uh, people usually go along with us for our, we just pick up the phone and go, hey, we're doing it. And they're like, uh, I, yeah. I mean, don't, don't yeah. even know what it is. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll, I'll be there. Whatever, if it's you two doing it, it's going to be fun. And we're also, too, we're, 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 like, I'm based in Toronto. Toronto's like, uh, the Roger Center's like right behind me there. Like, uh, the, the talent pool in, in Toronto is just amazing. Yeah. This is Hollywood North. Well, so I, there's, a, there's a thriving indie filmmaking community. It in sure there. is. There is. As, as well as the mainstream is here, too, as well. Do you ever get any, um, a, any issues with just being, I mean, Canada seems very, very, uh, progressive and may look down upon uh, an exploitation horror film. Does that cause you any problems being in Canada? I'm just curious. Absolutely not. No, no, everyone. I mean, <laughs> everyone's I, I was, been super supportive. I, yesterday, oh, I, did, I, did, I, did, I did interviews coast to coast all across the country. Uh, everyone seems to just love this, just like they do everywhere else. Right. There seems to be like a huge uh, pent up demand for something like this. People just want it. And also, there's a lot of anticipation that though, we, we've got a lot of um, negativity or drama, and we haven't. So, uh, you know, we've got nothing but massive support. Uh, I mean, look. People going, good for you guys. This is genius. Uh, Love it. I think it's brilliant. I think anyone that criticizes it is just upset they didn't think of it first because it just looks fun. Nailed it. The trailer tells you what this movie is. You're going to have fun. You're going to shriek. You're probably going to laugh. I I really do do hope that there's some theatrical attached to this because – there are enough Disney fans. You will pack a theater. I'm talking about in like Burbank, California, right? Oh, oh we're man. sure. Well, remember now, this is not a Disney movie. Yeah, uh, but right, right. right. Yeah. There's a big fan for uh, fun. Listen, a big part of this is the comedy side of it as well. Like, yes, right, it's a right. horror slasher, but it's it's definitely a horror comedy. Yeah, yeah like yeah, and there's also the, elements of parody in it. That oh, for sure. absolutely. Like, we're really. I I I used this yesterday. It's a combination of Scream meets Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. Matthew Hammond asks, how does a filmmaker navigate Mickey Mouse being in the public domain and Disney still having the Mickey Mouse trademark? Is it limited to the title or can you not mention Mickey by name? I mean, you can mention it. We don't mention Mickey by name. Remember, it's Mickey's mousetrap. Uh, you know, like you see the way it's laid out. But you could use the uh, Mickey Mouse uh, name because it's that's the thing that's popped into the public domain. Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie. So the character itself, the name of the character as, as well, is also entered public domain. I mean, you just have to not use the later iterations of it. I couldn't put Mickey Mouse on a poster using the Disney logo, like the Disney font and stuff like that. I mean, but the words Mickey Mouse aren't copyrighted, you know, anymore. Yeah, that's copyright. the bit that's in public domain. But we do, like, when people do mention that, it's like, they obviously, the kids here, uh, when they when they see him running around, that they know it's Mickey Mouse, but they, re- like, uh, the, the guy that's uh, in the trailer that says, oh, you, you don't go away, if you do, you'll never come back, kind of thing. He's the nerd that kind of knows all this kind of stuff, but he knows that he's a 1928 Steamboat Willie, and he makes that comments in it. So we do make reference to the fact that yeah. it's not the modern Mickey Mouse, it's the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. In fact, that's where our uh, he, our guy gets possessed from, but it's watching a version, uh, watching a... Uh, uh, the, the actual uh, Mickey, Steamboat Willie yeah. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. How did you... This is from A. Dallas 24 from Rumble. How did you go about designing the mask for a 3D perspective? Was there an issue getting the look right? So yeah. it's especially it's a custom um, job, you know. Sort of, it had to be black and white. Uh, you know, it didn't have to be black and white, but in order for us to definitely hit our Steamboat Willie uh, version, we made it black and white. It's it looks a bit like Minnie, but it's got uh, you know bigger eyes, and the eyes are all black. There's no eyebrows. He doesn't wear white gloves. He doesn't wear the red 
sort of uh, jumpsuits uh, because those are all later versions of Mickey. So the look is very uh, bespoke, you know, so that we had to make something special. And our production designer, Jesse Edwards, is the one that made the mask. And uh, well, she's responsible. Yeah, so Jesse. She did it. Yeah, great. Actually, job. I heard a reporter yesterday to describe it as ridiculously small. <laughs> I think we're used to seeing like the characters in Disney World with the giant heads. Giant heads. I yeah. never even thought about that until she said, "Yeah, look ridiculously small." It was just a, it would have been a logistics nightmare to murder people with a massive head. Uh, he did not enjoy wearing the mask. I right? did. <laughs> it was not, not fun. It was. We wasn't built for breathing. I'll tell you that. Right or depth perception with a, with a knife either. Pilgrim Media for five s. Wouldn't Disney sue anyways just to make your life miserable? Why would they do that? What? Disney, this is, there is some bad press about Disney out here, but at the moment, like, and I feel bad for them. Disney are not a bully. Disney are a big, you know, family run, you know, but I mean, no, no, family run anymore, but their, their sort of ethics are like family run for adventure, you know, fun, creativity. They're not some big bully that everybody keeps me in the mind. I won't Disney sue you. You're like, no, like we're, 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 we're observing the world a lot. Now I love I Disney. I don't know right. about yeah. that. Uh, and that's, that's worthy of debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, like, I mean, we've heard different, but I think yeah. they're only a bully to their own employees, not to people outside the well, company. Well, they haven't been a bully to us, and they, yeah, uh, we and don't expect we, that we they will. We greatly appreciate Well, that's good yeah. to hear. I mean, I've been saying, saying this all week, Disney, if Never. Disney's listening, I will personally direct the next three Marvel movies for free. <laughs> I will be in two, will, two of those. I, I, and I'll throw in a Pixar. Well, uh, so I, I think we've already hired people I want to do the Pixar thing as well. Marvel. And maybe a Lucasfilm thing. Solomon Thornton asks, greetings, Sir Bailey and Sir Simon. Any advice on directing actors? Ah, cool. <laughs> uh, well, you know, there's many different ways to do it. Uh, Simon likes to be very hands-on and tell the actor exactly how to speak. Uh, I'm more hands-off. I like to try to pull the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, their performance out of them by, uh, you know, doing some pre-stuff with them and making sure that they understand where the character's coming from, that kind of stuff. But together, we make kind of a good team. We really make these movies together, absolutely, 100%. And we both have dynamic uh, approaches to how to how to approach actors. Uh, but there's there's no one way, but they're the two yeah. main ways. There isn't a one way, Jim is right. There's definitely, it depends on the actor, I think, sometimes, isn't it? It also depends on the actor, yeah. yes. And sometimes <laughs> when you're working with people that don't have a lot of experience, it's better to be more hands-on, but then you have other actors that like like Simon that are far more experienced, and they, they don't need the, the, the proding, uh, the probing. I guess the lesson is, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess the lesson is uh, hire professionals, hire professionals. Well, sure. Absolutely. They say that 90% of, of directing is, is, is casting. So that is very true. I would agree with that. Um, question also from Rumble from eight Ellis 24. Was there any issue finding funding with the possibility that Disney would pull a rabbit out of their hat at the last moment? Well, and I mean, you, the copyright? you can see our credit card statements if you would like. We, we, <laughs> we, we self financed this one. This is we, we took the risk ourselves. We wouldn't put other people in in harm's way. But uh, I will tell you that we've had a bunch of people that did actually offer uh, help along the way. But and with knowing that uh, the risk that it was, but they were they weren't worried about it. They were like, well, you know, sort of uh, it's a risk. All, all opening a business or running any kind of business is a risk. There's no there's no safety. So we have to go into that. So. We right. do have another in, uh, interview lined up, chaps, because we're okay, very cool. important. Okay, good. One last question from the nerd far away. Hail, Mr. Bailey, Mr. Phillips. What, in your opinion, is the difference between Why are people hailing us? I don't, I don't know. They're hailing you. They like you. Um, okay. Is the difference, uh, what, in your opinion, is the difference between prop and set piece? I don't know what that means. What's what, that mean? what, what do you mean? Well, then there you go. All right. We're going to end on that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good. We've educated people. I love okay, that. cool. Uh, thank if you so much. If that answer, I want to know. <laughs> and I appreciate you guys coming back. I know there was a scheduling miscommunication, whatever it is. Right. Well, here we are. Glad we'll you get you, man. Invite us back again. We'll come back. It's all good. Yeah. Come back when the movie is in release and people can buy it. Well, sounds good. Awesome. Thank all right. You guys. Take care. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us.